Hello fellow YouTubers out there reveling in the cyberspace matrix. Not too bad as far as matrixes go, or is that matrices? I don't know, that's irrelevant. Anyway, in my last video I tried to prove that the sun is a whole lot closer than we've been told by showing the shadows of clouds on the ground and crepuscular rays which seem to converge right at the sun as opposed to coming in the atmosphere parallel like. It can be hard to get your head around this sort of thing and a lot of people probably think this is just a trick of perspective. So to disprove that I've set up a simulation in After Effects. I've attempted to make a similar scene and first I'll show you how the shadows of the clouds look with a near sun. Watch what happens as I slowly raise it. As you can see when the sun gets higher, the shadows of the clouds seem to slowly converge. So let's see what happens when I switch the light to one that's more like the sun, as it's been explained to us. After Effects has the option to make a parallel light source. So, you know, as the sun is supposedly 96 million miles away, 155 million Ks, it's pretty much parallel. As you can see, when I draw lines from the shadows on the ground through to the clouds, they kind of diverge or converge at the bottom. So as I expected, the simulator with the close sun seems to be a much better representation of what we actually see in the sky. And with the sun simulation making parallel rays as we should be getting from a sun 96 million miles away, the shadows do not match up with the reality we can witness with our own two eyes. So how far away did they tell us the sun is again? Because you know what, I've got to call bullshit. <laughs> 